first graders. Last week we learned about food chains and how actually food chains oftentimes um, overlap with one another and that means that they become a food web and how the animals within those food webs really rely on each other to have energy and to survive. Um, and so this week we're going to learn about a special type of animal that scientists call a keystone species. And what that means is they are very important to their food webs and to their ecosystems. So today we're going to start with a type of animal that I had no idea was a keystone species until I was a teacher. Because it doesn't seem very important and I didn't really know much about them, but they are very important. And that's called a lemming. So this book is called What If There Were No Lemmings? A book about the tundra ecosystem. And it's written by... Suzanne Slade and illustrated by Carol Schwartz. Lemmings are true cold weather survivors. In fact, their homes are buried beneath the snow for much of the year. Wrapped in warm furry coats, lemmings share the Arctic tundra with some big neighbors. Wolves, caribou, polar bears, and musk oxen call the tundra ecosystem home. It's critical. An arctic tundra circles the North Pole. It has only two seasons, summer and winter. Summer lasts less than two months and gets no warmer than about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Most winter days are below freezing. Animals in the tundra depend on plants and each other for food. They're tied to one another by food chains. Lemmings, like most living things, belong to several chains. When many food chains connect, they form a food web. During the long, cold winter, lemmings live in nests beneath the snow. There, they nibble on roots and grasses and have lots of babies. When warmer summer days come, the babies leave the nest for the first time. They scurry about with their parents, feasting on wildflowers, grasses, sedges, and moss. It's critical. Lemmings are known for their population booms. Every three to four years, large numbers of lemmings are born. As a result, lemming predators such as snowy owls and weasels eat really well and grow in population too. However, during bust years, Few lemmings are born. Predators have less food and their numbers drop. Lemmings have many animals to fear, including foxes, ermines, owls, jaegers. But another danger is global warming. Higher temperatures mean more freezing rain and less snow on the tundra in winter. Lemmings may struggle to find food that isn't coated with ice, and a thin blanket of snow doesn't keep the lemmings' homes as warm. It's critical. Sometimes a plant or animal species is so important that without it, many other species would become extinct. It's called a keystone species. Lemmings are a keystone species. Keystone species help to make sure an ecosystem has many types of life in it. What would happen if lemmings became extinct? A number of large animals in the tundra eat only meat, and lemmings are a favorite meal. If lemmings disappear, smaller eat meat eaters, such as owls, ermines, or ermines uh, would have trouble finding food. It's critical. Without lemmings, the owl and Jaeger populations would drop. This would mean fewer eggs for animals such as arctic foxes to eat. At first, these carnivores would fill their bellies with mouse-like voles, arctic hares, and other small animals. But without lemmings, there wouldn't be enough food to go around. Soon, many bird ermines, birds, ermines, and arctic foxes would be in danger of starving. So now you can see more animals who are beginning to go extinct and disappear from that ecosystem. Without small meat eaters, the 
the larger meat eaters would go hungry too. Wolves, for example, feed on many different creatures, including foxes and young snowy owls. Without foxes and owls, the wolves would re rely on caribou even more to survive. Not all tender carnivores kill other animals for food. Some look for creatures who have already died. Wolverines, for example, kill and scavenge. They eat anything they can find. At first, starving animals would, provi would provide a feast, but eventually even scavengers would run out of food. It's critical. Scavengers follow wolves, polar bears, and other large predators on their hunts. Once these predators eat their fill, scavengers finish the leftovers. The beautiful tundra would look and sound very different without lemons. No wolves or arctic foxes would be prowling in the frozen uh, ground. No jaegers or owls soaring across the sky. No wolverine growls filling the air. No hares leaping over the snow. No lemmings, voles, or voles nibbling on the grasses. What would happen if lemmings became extinct? Plenty. The loss of just one small animal, such as a lemming, would greatly change the balance of many food chains in the tundra. Thankfully, the lemming population has stayed fairly healthy throughout the years. Lots of lem lemmings help keep important tundra food chains strong for the future. It's critical. Many people are working hard to keep tundra animals safe by trying to slow global warming. By walking or, or riding bikes, People reduce the amount of fuel they use in cars and trucks. Less fuel means less pollution. We learned about that on Earth Day. And then here is a map, and the red section shows you where the tundra is. The end.